I like to call them neticles. I don't know why. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another one of my fly fishing videos. Today's video is about nets. Let's start off by talking about why we use landing nets. First of all, you don't have to use a net. I don't want to brag, but I've caught four fish without a net so far this year. There are plenty of good reasons to use a net though. Mostly it's about protecting the fish and making sure they survive the experience of being stabbed in the face and wrestled out of the water. A landing net allows you to safely handle a fish after it's caught. You can leave the fish in the net to remove the hook without the fish flopping around on rocks. The fish can rest in the net in the water while you get your camera and wardrobe ready for your photo shoot. Stuff like that. A net is a safe space for the fish. Not all nets are the same though. Let's talk about some different kinds of landing nets. This is a wading net. It's small and portable, meant for carrying around with you while you're on foot. This is a boat net. Maybe you can guess where you would use a net like this. It's got a longer handle for reaching out of the boat and it's got a bigger hoop so you don't have to be as accurate when you're scooping that fish up. Good for guides that want to rack up numbers. Now, you are watching a huge fly fisherman video, so if you're waiting for the part where I bust on Tenkara, it's right now. Why do cane pole guys use these silly little Tenkara nets? What's the point? Clearly you want to separate yourselves from fly fishermen, so do it. Go all the way. Admit that Tenkara isn't fly fishing and go net your little cane pole fish. Anyway, back to fly fishing. How about saltwater? We don't hear too much about nets on skiffs. The biggest issue here is storage. A five foot long net is a bit awkward in the boat, but you generally don't need a long handle because you'll be grabbing the leader while you're landing that fish for the guy on the pointy end. The best net that I've used in saltwater is this style. Big hoop, short handle, and it floats. Now let's talk about one of the most important parts of a net, the bag and what it's made out of. You wanna use a net bag that's easy on the fish and doesn't snag your hooks. Just like wading boots, rubber is the way to go. Rubber is gentle on the fish's slime coat and you gotta try pretty hard to stick a hook in it. A good alternative to rubber is rubberized mesh. It's just a woven mesh dipped in rubber and the same principles apply. You might also come across just a regular cloth mesh landing net. Not the best, but not the worst. The mesh can strip the slime coat off the fish and it loves to grab your flies. The worst possible net you could use is one like this with hard nylon mesh. Yeah, they're cheap at Walmart, but they are terrible for the fish. Super abrasive. So how do you carry a net with you if you're wade fishing? There are lots of ways. Some packs have integrated net holders. You can hang or clip your net from your pack. You can get a holster for your belt. There are these magnet things that suck because they come apart all the time. There are lots of ways to carry your net, but we need to take a moment and talk about this guy. Wade fishing with a giant net stuck in your pack. Listen, if this is you, you look like an idiot. Why are you carrying a boat net around? What are you compensating for? Oh, you need that big net because you're gonna catch a big fish? No, you're not. And if you do, a wading net works just fine. Learn how to land a fish. A big net is not a status symbol. It's a crutch. It's a joke. Take a lesson in humility from the blue line guys and use your hat to net a fish. It's more appropriately sized to the fish you're gonna catch anyway. Also, this has to be the worst way to carry a big net. The handle bangs into your legs, the hoop jabs into your back, Good luck walking through bushes or ducking under a branch. And have you ever put a wet fishy net on your back like this? Yeah, it's super fun. Okay, rant over. You wanna know what I use for nets? Well, too bad, I'm gonna tell you. When I'm waiting, I use this. I won't mention the brand because it's not important and they don't make them anymore. Short handle, decent size hoop, rubberized mesh. I use a snowboard leash to clip it to my pack. How about in a boat, what do I use? Well, I used to use these extendo nets for a long time. They're great if you need a lot of reach, but pretty cumbersome in the boat and they're prone to failure. Now I'm on this program, just a regular old fish pond guide net. Long enough handle, big enough hoop without being obnoxious, standard basic boat net. Works fine. Sometimes I dual wield when I want everyone to know I'm huge. So that's landing nets for you. You don't have to use them, but they can be a good idea sometimes. Thank you for watching my huge fly fisherman video today. I will be back as soon as I can with another video for you. Until then, always net them head first and stay huge.